嘿，大家好，我叫石老师。今天我们要学十个很有用的字。第一些字跟主有关系，第二些跟木有关系。好的，第一个字晚，晚 ，like king。With a dipping tone, wang. This character means to turn in the direction of or to face the direction of. This is part of a bigger grammar pattern that will allow us to say turn when giving directions. One last time, wang. Next, zhu. Zhu. So pronounced exactly like lord or main. But with a falling tone, this character means to pay attention to. Note we have the san dian shui. To pay attention to, or to take note of something, we will often say zhu yi, meaning pay attention to. Zhu. And lastly, zhu. <laughs> exact same pronunciation. This character with the mu radical means pillar. Very simply that. A pillar or a column. Zhu. Now, our next several characters are based upon mu, meaning wood or tree. Our first character, zhuo. Zhuo. This character means desk. Often spoken, zhuo zi. Zhuo. Very simply, desk. Next. Yi. Yi. Just like in ke yi, this character with a mu and then qi means seat, as in a chair. It will often mean chair. Yi. Now that piece on the piece on the right is pronounced qi, and its meaning is strange. So strange wood is something you sit in. If you can make meaning of that, e, ban, ban. This means board. For instance, this thing right here is a bai ban, ban. And lastly, ti, ti. This character means body. That can be the body of a person. That can be the body of a problem, or the main point, the main body of an idea. Any number of things, abstract and concrete. One more time. T. Now our last three characters. We first have. Juan. 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 Like ju with late. Juan. This character means to turn or to revolve, and we'll use this in accompaniment with wang to express turning in the direction of something. One last time, Juan. Shun. Shun. This character also means body, just like T. Often used to refer to the human body. Shun. And lastly, ju. Ju. Note this is not like ju to live at a place. This is like ju, as in sentence or drama. Exact same pronunciation. Ju. This character means a tool or an instrument. Ju. That is all for our characters. Today, the first word, 注意 This means to pay attention to. To pay attention to your health. To pay attention to safety. That's how we say be careful. Pay attention to. 注意柱子 Pillar, column, the column thing. 
柱子。柱形 ，column or pillar shaped means in the shape of a column or pillar. 柱形，桌子 ，desk or table. 桌子。椅子 chair or seat. 椅子白板 whiteboard. You guessed it, whiteboard. <laughs> 白板老板 The old board or the old stick is your boss. <laughs> Inflexible and rigid. <laughs> 老板身体 Body, body. This means body, but note this refers to the human body. So this wouldn't be like the body of an argument or something like that. 身体 is a person's body, though this can also refer to a person's health. 身体身上 On the body, so this means to have something on hand. You might say, "Shen shang yo shou ji," I have a phone on hand. Shen shang, 转身 to turn one's body. 转身转头 to turn one's head. 转头体系 the body of a system. Now, this is the word for a system in general. This can be an internet system. This can be a system of governance, a system of management, any number of things. An education system. These will all use the word 体系具体 This word means concrete, so the opposite of 抽象 or abstract. 具体 concrete. 家具 house tools, uh, furniture, <laughs> furniture or appliances. 家具 so fridge, chairs, couches, etc. They're all 家具 And lastly. 面具 The face tool is a mask. 面具 mask. And that is all for our words. For today's grammars and sentences, we will look at two example scenarios for how to ask and give directions using Wang. So, from our vocabulary today. We can draw out one very important grammar, and that is how to express directions. So the basic construction here, we use Wang to express changing direction, and we'll say Wang, a direction, Zhuan, to say turn in that direction. In fact, we can say Wang, direction, and then any moving active verb to express that this thing goes. Comes, walks, etc., in the given direction. So we'll look at two example scenarios. Our first scenario: we are in a restaurant, asking for directions to the restroom. Hey, ah,、uh, 服务员，呃，洗手间在哪里？服务员 says, 洗手间在楼上。啊、uh,。在楼上哪里？服务员 says, "Hey, 你在那边上楼以后，往右转，走到饭馆的后面，就有洗手间。So let's recap that last bit." The first two are pretty straightforward. The bathroom is upstairs. Okay, we're upstairs. Now this last bit, the 服务员 gives explicit directions of how to get there. 
he or she says, over there, you will go up the stairs. After that, turn right. Walk to the very back of the restaurant. 走到饭馆的后面. Walk down to the back of the restaurant. And 就有洗手间. And there is the bathroom, or there will be the bathroom. One more time. 你在那边上楼，以后往右转，右转。走到饭馆的后面，就有洗手间。Now, notice there, in the initial interaction, the Fuwian just said, go upstairs. That's not super helpful. A good way that you can ask if you're inside of a place like a pub, a restaurant, a school, and you need more directions, if somebody says, go upstairs, just say, lo shang de nali. So like, upstairs, where? The nali. You can affix that to the end of almost any direction that you get if you need more explanation. And then the Fu Yuan will give you more explanation. Now, our next example is a little more complex. So we're outside walking around and we're trying to find our way to the Da Shi Guan, the embassy. And so we ask a stranger on the street, you know, how do I get there? Let's look at that. Ai, uh, Chinwen, Zama Chu Mei Guo Da Shi Guan. Ah. 你离他很近，在前面的路口往右转，继续往前走，你走了一会儿，就会在右边看到一个大楼，前面有很多高高的柱子，那就是大使馆。呃,不好意思,如果我一个人走,那么我怕我会迷路的。哦,没关系,我送你走过去吧。Uh, uh, so, in this interaction, we're first asking uh, 请问, it's a stranger, so it's good to be polite and kind of interject with that. 怎么去? And then a place. So literally, how to go to this place. Totally acceptable way to ask for directions. Now, his response was super long-winded, and that was a lot of information to take in, but let's look at it piece by piece. 你离他很近, or 离那里很近. So right now, you are very close. Your distance from that or there is close. 在前面的路口, so at the next intersection, 路口, or at the intersection in front of us, 往左转, oh, sorry, 左转, turn left. 继续往前走, 继续 means continue. And something you will often hear if someone's telling you to move in the forward direction, they might say 继续前走, or 直走, meaning forward or direct walk. So, 继续前走, continue walking forward. 你走了一会儿,就会在右边看到一个大楼. So, after you've walked a minute, 你走了一会儿, then you will simply see, 就会, on your right side, a 大楼, a large building. 前面有很多高高的柱子. In front of that building will be a lot of very tall pillars. 那就是大使馆. That is the embassy. Take a sec, pause if you need to, try and process all that. Now, in the very last bit, um, Maybe I was extremely overwhelmed by all of those directions. So I said, uh, 
不好意思 ，like I'm I'm really sorry. This is embarrassing. 如果我一个人走 ，if I go by myself or if I go as one person， 那么我怕我会迷路了。Then I am afraid. 怕 I am afraid I will lose my way. 我迷路 ，I will lose the road or become confused on the road. 了 So this expresses I don't think I can get there by myself. Super indirect way of asking for additional help. And then the final response. Oh, 没关系，我送你走过去吧。Ah, no problem. I will take you there, or I will deliver you there, or I will bring you there. Literally, bring you walk there. Ba. So. Important takeaways from this: If somebody tells you a direction or a place to go to, and you need more information, you can say that place the nali. If you need to ask how to get somewhere, you just say zama chu, and then the place, how to get there, how to go the place. And lastly, if you're not really sure after you've gotten directions, it's okay to ask them to say again zai shu yi bian. Or to be like, 我会迷路了。你可以帮我吗 ？Can you help me? Most Chinese people are super friendly, and they will be more than happy to give you directions or even take you there. 大家 ，That's all we have for today. I encourage you to watch this again and take the time to process through these conversations. If you have any questions, write them down and raise them in class. For now, that's all. And as always, 加油。